Welcome back to VPPA Tutorials. I am Venkat. In this video, in this video, let us create user role mapping table using the entity framework, and let's migrate this to the database. This is the user role mappings table. When we are creating this user role mapping table, we can create only these two fields or somebody can create three fields also here there is no importance for id okay so here there is an importance for these two fields user id and role id okay let's create this table right click on data folder add class user role mapping it's a mapping table this is user role mapping these are the fields we need to create id and user id and role id so these are the three fields we have created and once the class creation is completed let's go to the context class and let's add the db set user role mapping and user role mappings is the table name and here we need to add the configuration i have copy pasted the above line so that's the config name user role mapping is the config name let us create that class name right click on config folder add class user role mapping config this is the config let us copy the config from some table so we have already written this to save the time and video length i'm just copy pasting it I have pasted that. It's a user role mapping, and here also user role mapping, and the table name is user role mappings. ID is a primary key, and it is a identity column, and this one has unique key. Okay, so here we need to make unique of these two fields. So here we need to add the unique field builder dot has index n tends to new so the column id is n dot user id comma n dot role id so the combination of these two fields is a unique key as well as index comma the unique key name we need to provide so uk unique key underscore what is the table name unique key for this table okay dot is unique it is a unique so with this we have defined an index and also we are saying it is unique the combination of these two columns should be unique okay we don't need any of these when we are inserting something user id is required and role id is required we don't need any default data so the configuration is completed we have simply configured we said id is a primary key and also identity column and this table has index that is combination of user id and role id and that one is a combination also unique and this is the unique key name and here we said 
user id role id are required so now we need to add the foreign key relationships let us add the foreign key relationships in this video for that we need to go to user role mapping in this for these two user id and role id we need to add two table references it is a user reference and it is a role reference and this is role and this one is user okay so we have table references here similarly we need to add collection references in user table so here public virtual i collection of user role mapping user role mappings this one is the collection reference we need to add the same collection reference in role table also okay here also we have added after adding these two references let's go to the user role mapping table so we need to add this foreign key references let's go to user role mapping configuration so this one is the user role mapping configuration this one is for role okay that's a role reference user role end dot so what happened so this role table has okay the name is wrong user role mappings that's the name and here also user role mappings that's the name so here user role mappings role id so what is the foreign key name user and role similarly we need to add one more so this one is for user table same user role mappings here it is a user id and this one is user so yeah so this one is a user role mapping table so user role mapping table to role user role mapping table to user okay this foreign key is from user role mapping table to role table this foreign key is from user role mapping table to user table because our user role mapping has two different ids user id and role id that's why we have created two foreign keys that's it so you can see in student config we have only one foreign key so here we have two foreign keys okay similar way nothing new here we have added index newly let us add the migration so what is the migration command add migration is the migration command go to package manager console add migration and space adding user role mapping and relations enter build started build succeeded migration created user role mapping table and these are the columns and this one is primary key foreign key foreign key and index unique key all that okay dropping and now let's update the database update database enter it is added to the database let's go to database and refresh the tables user role mappings is the table and here you can see these are the columns 
and this one is primary key you can see that and let's go to keys primary key foreign key foreign key and we can go to indexes here you can see user role mappings role id index okay so all are created in the database columns keys and mappings all that so with this all tables creation required for role based authentication is completed from next video onwards let us start implementing the role based authentication for more videos like this please like share and subscribe thank you